Change is coming at us faster than ever. Whether you're in business, government, education, or the nonprofit sector, uncertainty and greater complexity is the new norm, but there is help. Foresight is all about navigating change, anticipating how the future might unfold, and crafting strategies that enable individuals and organizations to be ready, whatever happens. The Houston Foresight Program has received worldwide recognition for 40 plus years of preparing students and organizations for the future, a legacy we're proud of. Listen as Dr. Andy Hines, Program Coordinator, shares our unique framework foresight approach for exploring the future of any issue in any industry and contact him by email to learn more about how Houston Foresight can help shape your readiness for the future. Framework Foresight is the process we use at the Houston Foresight program for exploring the future. It's designed as a modular plug-and-play approach that can accommodate a wide range of techniques. There are so many great tools for exploring the future, we designed our process to accommodate them. We start with a visual domain map of the categories of the topic we're exploring. We then look at recent history. If we're looking 10 years into the future, we'll typically look 10 years back. Then we do a current assessment looks at key stakeholders, and then the current conditions of the topic. What are the hot topics that people are talking about? And then grounded in the present and recent past, we start exploring the future. Horizon scanning is the process we use to identify the signals of change. Alongside that, we'll identify trends, the stakeholder plans, and um, projections or publicly available forecast about the topic. We'll typically synthesize that information into a dozen or so themes or key drivers of change. Uh, and we'll bring all of that information together into stories about the future. The first story we tell is the baseline future, the continuity future where there are no major surprises. We sometimes jokingly refer to this as the uh, least likely future. But what happens if trends stay on track, plans are fulfilled, projections are accurate, and there are no major surprises? Since we know that there will inevitably be surprises and disruptions, we capture those in the form of typically three or four alternative futures that explore how the future might be different when the baseline is inevitably disrupted. Armed with these stories about the future, we then explore the implications of forecasts. Typically, we'll look at how they influence functions such as supply chain, marketing, human resources. Uh, and then we devise our plans and actions for responding to the future. If we're looking at a strategy, we might identify strategic issues and options. If we're doing innovation work, new products or service concepts. Or if we're doing government policy work, we might identify new public policy initiatives. The last step is identifying indicators, or the pathway from the present to each of our futures. We don't try to guess which future is right, but rather we watch it in real time so we can dynamically respond to the future as it emerges. So that's our process in a nutshell. If you'd like more information, we'd love to hear from you here at the Houston Foresight Program.